Hi guys, how you doing? I'm going to do some Asian drumsticks tonight and some green pea salad. Okay, let's get started. I've already grated some orange zest that I'm going to put on here. But let's put our liquid stuff on first. I've got some uh, Worcestershire sauce you're going to add on here. I've cleaned my drumsticks. And always go up under that skin and pull that slimy stuff out of there. And your your drumsticks off your thighs and your drumsticks. And it'll your chicken will taste a whole lot better. Yeah. So let's add a little Worcestershire sauce and put enough so we can uh do both sides. Okay. And we of course we're gonna have some soy sauce. Not a whole lot. We don't want it salty. We're talking about a little healthier eating, remember? Put that back over there. I've got some uh, toasted sesame seed oil. And trust me, please don't do a lot of this. A little of this goes a long way. Trust me, that's enough. I can really smell this very pungent. And... I'm going to add some garlic. Okay. I always put a little of that juice off in there, too. Alrighty. Get that there. Wipe my hand. It's going to be good, guys. Good. <laughs> okay. I'm going to add some uh, Asian uh, pepper oil. I like it. it looks spicy. Okay, I really don't want to put my hands in here, so slap back here and get a spoon. We don't want a lot of this, I'm telling you. Put some of that on there, which I'm going to have to eventually put my hands off in there. So what if it's a little spicy? All right. Be really be able to taste that. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I want to wipe that off. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. There we go. And I'm going to add a little smoked paprika. Always good. I don't care what you put this on, it's going to be good. We don't need a whole lot of it, though. Remember, you want to taste chicken, too. We put on some ginger. Oh, that smells so good. Okay. And... Now we got all that in there. I'm, I've got my Himalayan sea salt, but I'm going to take and uh, just get this all seasoned, all inside. And then we're going to take and pull our skin down. Make sure it's all pulled down. Wait before we do that. Because I really want that pungent orange flavor. Let's put half of the orange zest on here. Get some of that on the inside of the chicken. So the inside of the skin. It's going to be so good, guys. Okay, now pull our skin down over the meat, over the flesh, okay, and then we'll add the rest of our, make sure it's seasoned well out there, 
on the on the skin season it well gotta eat good back to work tomorrow <laughs> And I do have a girl at work, her name is Olivia, and she does watch my videos, so I got to put, do everything correctly and do my best, so I keep her interested in watching. There we go. There we are. And the rest of our orange sets out here. I really want that straw. I'm going to add a little uh, orange juice as well. I really want that strong orange flavor. Yeah, roll it around a little bit so we get it all orangey. Yep. You know it doesn't take that long to cook. But I want it really juicy. I can't stand dry food. I just can't deal with it. I can't eat it. Don't try to serve it to me. As I will tell you, if it's dry, I cannot eat it. Okay. There we are. Okay, there we go. that way. Okay. There we go. I'm going to taste my fingers before I rinse to make sure we got enough salt. I'm just adding a little sprinkle of the Himalayan, but I'm going to rinse my fingers first. And I'm going to cut these. That orange is and to juice. That'll have something to bake with. Okay. Alright. Squeeze a little bit of that orange in there. I really don't want it on the chicken. Just get it down in that pan, in the skillet. And it has something, something to, oh, I'm going to need the whole orange. Okay, it's good and juicy, though. I don't want it on my skin. I want that to get good and brown. Okay, there we go. Good amount of orange juice in there. Okay. And I am going to give it a sprinkle of uh, Himalayan's pink salt. Yeah. I'm going to sprinkle that so we can have it nice and seasoned. Okay, guys, see it? I'm going to put in a, I got it on 375, right there, okay, and let it rip, and that's that, okay, taste it, and let's see how sweet it is. Mmm, that's really sweet. I, I saved those for myself to nibble on. Now, I didn't even need that. Mix it all. Let's get everything wiped up. So we can start on our green pea salad. I've got my eggs all boiled. And everything else. And uh, most of our seasonings, I'm going to put away. Excuse my back for a second, please. Let's 
No, my boss. No. Oh, no. No. Of course, I'm not gonna make that much. I don't need that much. It's just me. I wish you guys could come and join me, though. That would be very nice. If I had you guys here to join me. Put these things away. That goes in the fridge. I keep my soy sauce, my uh, roasted sesame seed oil, of course my garlic. That back on the food bowl. Okay, put that back where it belongs. Smoke that rick up. Ginger. Back up here where spices go. That side. And my salt. I'll put a little garlic in my salad. There we go. Grab those. Get them cooled off. Okay. Ooh, that was extra cold, guys. You know what that means. That Lake Michigan is really cold. That's that means. Okay. I just want to take take the towel and make sure my peas are drained very well. I don't like wet salads at all. Here, sit there on that while I get all my ingredients out and ready. Uh oh, uh oh, I accidentally cut my light off. I don't know how, but I did. And I gotta get it back on. There we go. Okay. Might as well refrigerate what I'm gonna refrigerate. Matter of fact, I'll put that away and just use a little fresh garlic juice in my salad. There we go. Okay. Let me grab some salad dressing, a little mustard. bell pepper and onion and celery. That's what's gonna go in our green pea salad. Okay. Put that back over here. I'm gonna eat that oh it's just too good not to. And we'll chop the five veggies right quick. We don't need that many so that's why I'll do it with you guys that out the way. That's some powerful stuff now. That uh, Asian pepper oil. I get it at the Chinese restaurant. I always get extra of course. Let me open this stuff. This is that this is that uh, neon green relish. It's very good. I was born and raised in Chicago for those of you that don't know. And this is the relish that they put on the kosher Vienna 
uh, hot dogs and polishes. Man, you talking about delicious. So when I saw it recently at a, a little specialty store called Ghost, but everyone calls it Galaxy. Why well, I don't know. Uh, I picked up some. So we're going to have some. And our green pea salad. So let's get started. Okay, because everything doesn't look that well. So we got to pick some stuff off of here. I talked to Jasper today. That made me very happy. I've been feeling kind of depressed. But I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Yeah. Haven't been really eating well. I've been uh, skipping medications all day. For some reason, this time of year, it just bad for me. I just go into a depression. I miss people that are gone and stuff like that, you know. But I always call on God at this time. And of course, you know if you call on Him, He's going to reach down and pick you up. So, that's what I've been doing this weekend. I'm getting my rest. So. What the man of mommy's head? No, I'm telling what he see out there. Probably nothing. No, he sees something for the bark like this. Making a salad like this, you want really small chop. Very small chop. And we're not making a lot, so we don't need a lot. We definitely won't be using all of this celery. But, gotta have some in there. nowhere near enough. So, let's break it on down, y'all. Cutting it to really thin julienne. Mm -hmm. Our chicken shouldn't take more than a half hour. I, I can smell it. I smell nothing but orange. Smells delicious. All righty. Besides, these are my veggies in here. And I'm, this is all the veggies I'm going to have. So, I'm not cooking any side veggies or anything. So, this is it. Bell pepper, celery, onion. And of course, the pickle relish. 
I really don't count for Becky, does it? <laughs> it is tonight. That's all I have a taste for. Is chicken and the green pea salad. I'll weigh myself tomorrow after I get out the shower. See if I've lost that other five pounds I had to lose. If not, I'm not, I'm not going to trip out of anything. I'll get rid of it. I think I have already, though. I had to use an extra uh, hole on my belt, so I believe I have. So we can stand it up. There we go. Let's throw that in there. All right. I don't want to put too much on it. That's plenty. That's plenty. I've got some uh, Hagen Dad's butter pecan ice cream. I do indulge and have my dessert, but of course, I do it in moderation. I learned that very well as I was losing all that weight. I never stopped eating anything I wanted to eat. I just did it in moderation. Instead of eating a whole pint, made it three servings. So, here we go. I told you guys. We have a perfect chopped onion. You know, because I get lost when they say, um, take the whole onion and cut it you know, that way then take it and cut it down and follow the uh, lines and all. You don't have to go through all that. Cut it in rounds, cut it in half, and just go down. And just go over until you get the size chop that you like. And voila. I'm done. Matter of fact, I'm not gonna allow me. I could have looked too much. I need all that. Let's be real. I'll be gassy. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. I do not need all that. No, excuse me, but I'm not gonna use that. So, okay. <laughs> Keep it real. And matter of fact, let me I don't want uh oh. This might be something here. Oh, no it wasn't. Okay, great. I want to um, drain some of the syrup off my relish so it won't make my salad watery. Hate a watery salad. That's why instead of boiling my potatoes for my potato salad, I put them in the microwave and I never have a, a watery uh, potato salad. Not anymore. Not since I've learned that trick. Well, the top doesn't have a lot of syrup on it, which is a good thing, so. Yeah. That's the famous lamb green relish from Chicago, exclusively. There we go. Yeah, I like it quite a bit, so let's just let that sit there and drain. So I could chop up my red bell pepper. Okay. 
Okay. Of course, you know you got a refrigerator. <clears throat> Let's read some of the ingredients. Eggs, of course, but let me get my tomato slice of slash. I use a slice of eggs, but it is a tomato slice. I've never sliced a tomato with it, and I've had the thing decades over two decades. <laughs> That's all right. This up from there. Okay. Always want to get rid of that membrane in there because it's bitter. You know what? They said it was bitter. I've never tasted it to see if it was bitter. Yep, yes I am. I'm going to taste it right now. And we're going to find out together if it's bitter or not. Let me get that off of there. And then the julienne and cut it up. Let's find out. Alright, we'll remove the seeds. We'll just taste a little bit and find out. It's not bitter to me. You guys gonna have to do your own taste test, but no, it's not bitter. Not to me. Somebody laugh. <laughs> not to me. Well, you guys try it. And let me know what you think. Now, I'm not going to speak for everyone. I'm speaking for Queen D. I'm speaking for Denise. No. Mm -hmm. Tastes just like the rest of the pepper. Maybe I'm missing something. But you saw me slice it out of there and eat it. So... Oh. I don't know. I do know. It's not bitter. Maybe I'm, you know, going to start, stop listening. And just start doing my own thing. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm saying. <laughs> we'll see. We'll try it ourselves, right? That's the only way to really know anything. Do it yourself. Nothing to it but to do it. Okay. This way I'm trying to get my little videos in. Because I know, guys, I have therapy on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm going to be too tired from going to work and then going to therapy to come in here and do videos. You know, I'm still recovering too. So, I'm not going to lie to you. And when I can, I'm going to do them. I'm going to do the best I can. That's all I can tell you. Now, we got all our chop chop done. Mmm. There we go. Well, I'm wasting not one. I'm going to put that in there, too. I do love green bell, I mean red bell pepper. It's my favorite. Of all the bell peppers. Put it on in there. 
Put two eggs because I like four eggs. So I'll put them in there. A couple of those. Okay. I'm drip water everywhere. I just mopped my floors this morning. There we go. I can't wait to move down, so. I want to move down south again, y'all. I loved it when I was living down there. So peaceful and green and love. I, I wasn't in pain like I'd be here, especially this time of year. Okay, let's get these in there. Living is a lot slower, and so is the violence. Okay? Now, nothing perfect, of course. They hit their little thing down there. But nothing like here. Nothing like here. Every day, somebody did. If it's not two or three people, babies, children, they don't care. A car crash, a fatal car crash every day. Kids stealing cars and don't know how to drive. 